So Nancy Pelosi is at it again. First, I want to say, as an American, I am deeply troubled and ashamed that, as a country, we could elect someone, such as Nancy Pelosi, to the third highest office in the country, the Speaker of the House. It truly blows my mind, the ineptitude of her. Her political agenda, first and foremost, is completely regressive. She looks like she is on antipsychotics or benzodiazepines all the time. She literally looks like she's taking Zax 24-7. When you listen to her speak, when you watch her actions, you realize that she's just grasping for straws. But at the same time, she truly believes what she is saying. Now, in this most recent argument she's making, that Jeff Sessions and his alleged collusion with the Russian government resulting in Trump campaign and the victory for the Trump campaign is worse than what Bill Clinton was impeached for. So I think she forgets that Bill Clinton had an affair in the Oval Office and lied to the American people about it and then committed perjury about it. Jeff Sessions, despite what regressives and progressives might think, as of now, there is no evidence that he lied under oath. First And furthermore, he wasn't specifically speaking to the American people. So Bill Clinton, his activities with Monica and all the other ones he had affairs with, and cheated on Hillary and raped, let's be honest, are far vast, far more vast and far worse than Jeff Sessions could ever be. But Nancy Pelosi, I truly believe that she believes that Jeff Sessions was a Russian agent and perhaps still is. And he is working to bring down the American government to create a transference of power from a republic, an indirect democracy, to a fascist dictatorship. I do not doubt that for a second. Her regressive policies, as well as the, the regressive policies of the left in general, are dangerous to American sovereignty. I find her attitude a deterrent to any kind of common sense, and I do find it surprising that people can actually listen to her and respect her enough to re-elect her in the office year after year. The House representatives get elected in the office every two years. So if someone like Nancy Pelosi can be re-elected for a decade, this really shines light on the ineptitude of the far left and their views and opinions of their political elected officials. It blows my mind. It really does. Chuck Schumer is the same thing. There is a vast amount of hypocrisy between what the left gets angry at the right for doing and what they do themselves it is double standard. It is do as I say, but not as I do. And you got to question, where was this outrage when Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton? Where was this outrage when Eric Holder created an operation called Fast and Furious, which sold guns illegally to a Mexican cartel to track the guns, which ended up in the death of a border agent named Brian Terry. There was no outrage then. There was no outrage when Hillary lied under oath. There was no outrage when she violated Article 9, Section 8, blah, blah, the Constitution. One sec. I got to find what that is. I forgot it. Article 1, Section 8... Clause 9. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's uh, section 9, clause 8. Just bear with me here. I have to make sure I got this right. Hmm, I can't remember. Well, what this is, I'll just say it. She accepted money from foreign governments without congressional approval, which is a no-no, which can get her impeached from her up from her respective position, which was Secretary of State. There is no anger over that fact that Hillary did that. But since it's the right, since the purpose of the left right now is to completely demean and demoralize the Trump administration and everything it stands for, it's safe to assume that no matter what happens on the political left, they could even kill somebody. The leftists 
the regressives, the progressives, people like Nancy Pelosi will be completely oblivious to that fact. And instead, they will be use hypocrisy and hyperbole to completely demean and denigrate people on the right. And Trump really isn't that far right. He's more of a centralist. So I don't understand that. But before I let everyone go here, I really want to figure that out because I don't like doing that. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8, U.S. Constitution. There we go, right here. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8. Sorry about that, forget, forgetting that, but right there. She broke that, but there was not any, any Democratic anger toward Hillary Clinton when she did this. So it is truly sad. And I'm done.